As a Coda DocMaker, we want to give you the confidence that your data is secure and the controls to easily manage who can access your doc. At the same time, we want admins and enterprise organizations to have full visibility and control to ensure that they stay compliant and minimize security risk. This month, we have a few exciting features that make the lives of both Coda users and admins easier. We recently shared a sneak peek of Seek Page Access Control, which allows your collaborators to see a page that you add to a doc without having access to the entire source doc. I'm excited to share that this feature is now live and ready to use in your docs. For example, let's say I create a sync page in my team hub from a doc that has all of my customer examples. Before, only people with access to the customer examples doc would be able to see this page. Now you can update the controls here so that everyone in this team alpha hub is able to see this page without having to give them access to the rest of the customer examples doc. As an enterprise org admin, you'll need to be able to track how Coda is being used. We've added an audit log dashboard that lets admins audit actions from members in their org directly inside org settings. You can filter for specific people or actions within a specified time range. For example, if I wanted to look at all the dog actions Katie has taken in the last 30 days. You might also need to help your team find a specific doc and take action on it, which you can now do via the org docs dashboard. Here you can view usage analytics on all the docs in your org, and in the three dot menu, you'll be able to update who the doc is shared with, move the doc to a different workspace or folder, transfer the doc to a different user, or delete the doc. We've also added two new columns for the number of sync pages going in and out of your doc. Over on the audit log dashboard, we've added new audit actions for viewing sync pages and managing access control. Folders are a great way to organize your team's docs, but it can be difficult to control access. Right now, you can manage users' granular access to docs with doc permissions, but we're making a huge update to our folders with granular sharing permissions for folders. So for example, I'm on the engineering team and I created a folder for our team's design docs. Now I can use granular folder permissions to share this with edit access for members of my engineering team and common access for everyone else at my company. All the docs in this folder inherit the permissions that this folder has. Now my team's information is secure and I kept my workspace organized all at the same time. To stay legally compliant, enterprise orgs often need a system in place to ensure that they can identify, preserve, and produce relevant information when needed. We added two new features, legal hold and e-discovery, to our enterprise tier to allow you to do this. You can find these under the data governance section. As an enterprise um, org admin, you can create a new legal hold and uh, put a uh, user under hold. This will preserve the docs that they have edited or owned uh, between a certain time period. And also, uh, org admins can use the e-discovery feature to search across all the docs in their organization, and they can put also preserve these docs by putting the respective doc owner on hold. To learn more about these features and everything else that we launch, check out coda.io slash updates.